What's up guys? Today we're back with American Truck Sim. Today we're headed to Bend, Oregon with a load of house prefabs. 36,000 pounds worth and we're being paid just over $10,000. The truck of my choice today will be a 2019 International LT Sleeper. It's fully loaded here, lots of tech, and this is one pretty cool truck. But let's hop here on the inside. Let's get that Cummins diesel engine fired on up here and let's head on out. It's going to be roughly four and a half hour drive almost 200 miles here for us and we made this route uh, pretty uh, recently as well so it's nice to be back in Oregon as well all right guys let's get rolling here now we did get loaded on up here now these house slabs did take I would say like an hour and a half to two hours to get loaded up and that's why I thought I would pick up the camera once uh, we got uh, kind of uh, uh, cleared from the loading dock area but I'm really excited to be using this international it's fully loaded it is a 2019 it only has like 30,000 miles on this truck that's pretty much brand new for a semi truck as well which I am excited for here but if you do want to see more American trucks in please hit the like button button it is much appreciated as it does help out with the youtube algorithms and uh, it shows you guys do want to see more now for today's video like always i am using the uh, g29 logitech steering wheel with the pedals and since this truck is a full automatic no need for shifting through the gears I will say guys it's definitely nice to be back here in a 2019 semi we've used quite a few old trucks so those those are really cool uh, they still get the job done this is a much comfier ride and it, this is a pretty luxurious here for us compared to some of the other trucks we've ran just looking at we have 2,000 miles of diesel so we should be good there just checking everything fuel economy 4.1 that's why we gotta get a little bit lower with a, a 36 pound load on the back just leaving this little kind of warehouse section it was pretty back here off the main street which was pretty neat here as well but American Truck Sim guys I really want to feature this every week for you guys in this summer I do plan to do some weekly live streams maybe over on Twitch uh, maybe a mixture of Twitch and YouTube would be a pretty sweet thing now I don't see a sign that says no turn on red but we can't really see what's coming I'm not sure if we could really pull for too much there let's see let's see sometimes uh, having these kind of blind uh, sections of roadway is always tricky for us we'll just keep rolling perfect oh yeah look at that lineup over there it looks to be a Camaro with the Subaru that is pretty sweet here but let's get up through the gears and we have a Cummins guys it's 565 horsepower and we've actually not used a Cummins in a long time here so it's nice to use these uh, since they are really sweet engines but let's get some cinematic shots really quickly and actually we could probably get our strobe lights going since we are a bit on the oversized load height wise I think we're right at 13 uh, 5 and uh, uh, 14 feet is the clearance there but let's see let's see what time is it 12 34 right around lunchtime here in game and we definitely have a lot of traffic and it's turning yellow right as we're going through uh, but so far guys uh, it's gonna be a little bit slow uh, as we're in heavy traffic leaving town now if you guys do have any cool truck ideas please let me know here I really do like using all the different brands from Peterbilt to Kenworth International uh, to Western Star even some older Fords things like that uh, these are a lot of fun here of course but it looks like we're coming up on a pretty cool dealership over there now I do believe there are uh, some car mods here in game so I might do some videos there it would be so cool if we could get like a pickup truck with a gooseneck trailer kind of hauling like that I think that would be awesome to do here in American Truck Sim, but this is an amazing game. I really do like the graphics. I do have a few graphic enhancements, but otherwise, uh, this is a very fun game. Nice and relaxing to get behind the wheel and just drive for quite a long time. We're climbing up to 55, and I will say, guys, this truck has a ton of power, lots of torque, which is pretty sweet here. Let's get some more cinematic shots here for you guys. I really do like Oregon. I really do like it. It's more of kind of a back road, uh, kind of long drives, which I really do like. Everything's kind of spread out. Otherwise, like California, everything is so close together here. But I do plan to get some of the DLCs, which should be a lot of fun. I definitely want to go over to Texas, Montana, things like that, and I have been trying to get the coast to coast mod to work guys looks like it just keeps seeming to crash my game i'm not ex uh, exactly sure there but hopefully i could get that fixed i think that would be pretty uh, nice thing to kind of go over there and expand the business which should be pretty sweet here but look at that 3.9 miles per gallon that's not too bad and once again guys we are right around 36,500 pounds for the load and then plus the trailer that's a pretty heavy load for us 
I hope everyone's been having a good Wednesday so far. We're in the middle of the week. We're getting closer to the weekend, which is always fun. And I will be on summer break here within the next month, which I am excited for. Now, I do also want to do some multiplayer convoys. I think that would be a ton of fun to do here as well. Just switching over to the digital speedometer. I much prefer that here in ATS, but definitely just have some music going. And a nice chat with you guys is always a pretty neat here. Now, we do have a pretty nice sleeper on the back as well, which I really do you like we got to keep our eyes on the road or else I would definitely show you guys that maybe at a gas station or something uh, we could show you that here but I also do like that mixture of day cabs uh, and kind of uh, small sleepers to the huge sleepers and I really want one of those big custom sleepers uh, I think that would be a pretty uh, cool truck to use next here now we are going like five over uh, we're just pretty much going with the flow of traffic here now we aren't going too too fast usually uh, four or five over uh, should be no problem here but look at that guys an unbelievable scenic area that is amazing. Let's see if we get some more cinematic shots here. Uh, really do like everything about this game is uh, nicely done. Alright guys, there's a sign we're heading to Ben and looks like we're going to be going up a pretty steep hill here, which uh, should be a lot of fun here for us. Let's see how the Cummins does. Now, like I did touch on earlier, guys, our company has done the route from Medford to Ben quite a few times, and it is a pretty fun one as well here. Really kind of scenic, which is pretty cool, and look at that bridge. That is a pretty big one, uh, but we are definitely getting closer and closer here. Let's see what time it is. It's almost 2. Wow, we've already been on the road for 2 hours here. Time flies when you're just going down the road here and I think we might get into a little bit of rush hour traffic but I don't think it's gonna be too too much there let's get slowed on down looks like there's an accident here oh wow look at that completely totaled uh, and looks like they're doing traffic control here as well that car is coming right into our lane uh, I definitely think they should have probably stayed there until we pass by uh, but we're passing through uh, Klamath Falls right now uh, just unbelievable guys that's one thing I really do like here but I do want to do some more hauling in uh, farm sim as well it should be a lot of fun especially on the uh, Xbox the PlayStation doing some hauling there which uh, would be pretty neat here let's see let's see we definitely want to go uh, pretty slow here uh, 36,000 pounds we can't go too fast or else we're, we're gonna need a record to kind of uh, clean us up when we get rolled over yeah, looks like we have cars merging here, no problem. Really would like to uh, be over in the uh, slower lane here. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, looks like they're going to let us on over, which is good. Uh, that way they can pass us on the proper lane, and we aren't uh, causing a pretty much roadblock there as well. And we're going to one lane, which is no problem, but look at this scenic area, guys. Really, really cool. We're coming up on two hours left here in the hall. We just keep going along here. Look at that zone's hauling tractor over there. Definitely uh, want to see if we could do some more farm equipment hauls. Definitely some oversized tractors, implements. I think things like that would be pretty neat here. But guys, I do plan to bring back some games to the channel as well, which I am excited for this summer. Uh, lots more SnowRunner, other games like that, even BeamNG, and a little bit of a few others as well, which you guys have been seeing here on the channel in the past. And I just really Really do like that look at that pretty cool looks like that's a little kind of farm stand there now we're just gonna keep going along here let's just double check our miles per gallon 5.3 so we're doing pretty good I will have to say the truck is doing good and uh, definitely uh, is a proper engine for the truck as well but I think we should be able to get this dropped off here by the end of the day probably before 5 which is gonna be a good thing here let's uh, make sure we're going over to bend yep don't want to take the wrong exit uh, trying to get back on the highway with a truck like this won't be easy we're coming up on the last 20 miles of the haul and it's going to be probably about another 50 minutes here and I will say guys driving through Oregon the small towns we get to drive through is pretty exciting as well if we did have more time we weren't on a tight schedule I uh, will probably stop uh, and shop at a few local stores and grab a bite to eat because those local diners guys are pretty nice here as well but look at that we're just now leaving it looks to be the force and we are getting really close here which I am excited for and I will say guys this was a pretty nice load here house prefabs it looks to be uh kind of a uh, walls put together at factories and then they use cranes to put them into place here that is becoming more and more popular as well which is pretty neat as well look at that there's a huge train cargo going by there wow look at that lots of sea cans on that
We've arrived here in Ben. We're getting pretty close to a pretty wide turn here, but we're right here in town. I'm not sure where the drop off is. The GPS says like five or six miles left, uh, so we are getting pretty close here. But I will say, guys, having that built in GPS does come in pretty handy. I really do like that. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's a bridge coming up, and there looks to be a little bit of road work as well. That road work took a little bit of time to get on through there, but luckily they were letting traffic through. Otherwise, we would have had to take a huge detour here, but it looks like we're right around the corner, which I am pretty excited for here. It was a pretty good haul. We're actually a little bit early, like a half hour early, which is a pretty good thing as well. That's good for us, and that's good for business, and we're going to be uh, taking a left here. We're coming up on the last stretch, the last mile or two of the haul here. We are getting pretty close, which I am excited for. Now, I'm not sure what the next haul will be, so let me know down below, oh, guys, what should we do next? I really want to see if we could do some more equipment hauls. Maybe more things like this uh, would be a pretty neat thing as well, but I could already see the destination circle coming on up. This always gets me really excited here, but this international, guys, I really do like. I definitely like that mixture of new and old trucks. I do tend to kind of switch between which is a pretty sweet here where we are coming up on a red light. Hopefully this is one of the last ones. We've had so many here today. All right, guys, it looks like we're just about to arrive here. Look at that. All those new construction houses going on up there. That's quite a few. And that is where we're going to be dropping it off here. Looks like we have once again another red light. Wow, we didn't have too much good luck here today. So we'll wait here. And then it looks like we're going to have to find the drop off here for it. it. Looks like there is active people working. So hopefully there's someone that we can find and drop it off. All right, guys, we're turning into the construction side here. It is a pretty big area, just making sure. And let's see, let's see. It looks like they do want it over here as well. Really quickly, let's see. They actually do want it uh, backed in there. So that will be a little tricky. I actually might see if they could let us drop it here because I don't really want to bring a semi-truck on the dirt there. Definitely don't want to get stuck in any mud with all the heavy uh, spring rains lately. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for next one and to subscribe for more.